Hey there friends, how's it going? Today we are playing Harvester, which looks like the best worst game on Steam. Very old game using real life actors for cutscenes. It's gonna be great, stick around. Okay, so this is our character, <laughs> even though he walks, it's hilarious. We're gonna go into the living room and talk to Hank. What? Oh no, the voice acting is just worrying. And you better be quiet, or you'll wake daddy up. Your dad is asleep? He and mom went at it last night pretty Wait, hard. what? Oh my god, this game is gonna be so much worse than I thought it would be. <laughs> Wait, I can type in my own responses? Feck you, kiddo. Say what? I just can't remember anything, like I said. Oh great, our character has amnesia, or maybe he's actively repressing his life because this looks just terrible. Little kids shouldn't watch violence. Yeah, I'm bigger and stronger than him. I should go turn it off. So let me alone or else. Okay, this is mom. Maybe she'll talk some sense into me. I have no idea what's going on. Oh my god, she's terrifying. Who are you? You're my mother? That's right. I don't remember you. My guy's having a serious medical emergency and no one is taking him seriously. Well, you always were a kidder, Steve. <laughs> I'm having like a serious problem here. She's like, oh, kids will be kids. <laughs> That's wonderful, Steve. If you got into the lodge, you'd be the talk of harvest. Okay, I'm gonna go to the lodge. I don't even know what that is, but that's my goal. Wait, there's a baby? I hope that's not mine. Or maybe that's what this whole episode is about. Like, oh, no, that's not my kid. I don't remember it at all. Hey, Steve, I'm Jimmy James. Remember me? Uh, no, I have no idea. <laughs> Why would he specifically point out, like, oh, remember me? Well, I don't, you selfish boy. Oh, I don't know what I responded. I was just clicking to skip through. I've pissed off the male boy. Say, you got any spare sneakers? I don't think we're the same science kid but yeah yeah here you go what could you give me you know miss whaley and principal harold down at the school well i found out they're messing around with each other in the broom closet i can tell you when they meet and trade you some what? keys that'll let you catch some red hands why do i want to catch them i don't care about their affair right, you know i take the sneakers let me see those sneakers. oh god you got me i don't have any sneakers see you later alligator okay are, are you leaving or no we're just gonna stand here awkwardly staring and pretending we don't see each other all right let me go inside and look for some sneakers then Jesus Christ, that cough, that kid's been smoking a pack a day. Well, I guess it is like the 50s. That's probably normal. Oh. Oh, I can attack? Oh, this is great. All right, well, there's no sneakers here. Why do I look like I'm about 30 and I've got all these toy planes up and everything? Oh, now the kid's gone anyway. All right, let's go next door, I guess. Can I? The... The Potsdam residence. I have no memory of who I am or what I'm doing and I just walk into their house. Oh my god, his animated, like, demeanor is so strange. There he is, my future son-in-law. Oh, okay. All right, I mean, at least it makes sense that I walked into your house. You look so shocked and happy to see me. <laughs> what a god. <laughs> I just went, I lost my memory, and he's like, oh, God, you're funny, Steven. Yeah, look, I was always a kidder, wasn't I? What is that noise? Oh, is that him crying? <laughs> the tears, what was that? Oh, my God, he's so depressed now. He was so happy a few seconds ago. Hello, Steve. Have you floss today? Well, that's a bit of an intimate question. You look just like my mom, except for the hair. Oh god, your husband's crying again. I can hear the Niagara Falls in the background. I'm leaving. I'm gonna go to this lodge that they keep talking about. Wait, this is the lodge? What the hell is this? I expected a cabin in the woods. Right, let's talk to him. Let's move into the hall. And he talks like that. Okay. You see, smoking a pack a day is not good for you. I should bring little Jimmy here and show him this is what happens. But my mind touched yours. Well, can you stop Touching my mind, please. I would like to join this lodge. It looks like my kind of place. You must first fill out an application to be- Oh, okay. I thought I'd have to do a trial or like a human sacrifice, but apparently it's just some paperwork. <laughs> Applications are available at the post office. Okay, I guess I'll go there then. So that's the lodge. Look at it. Feckin' hell. There's a missile base. I thought I was in a small town. Post office. All right, let's go there and try and get my <laughs> application if I appease the postmaster. Yeah. Yes. I need some help, Mr. Postmaster Boyle. Okay, seems reasonable. I'd like a lodge application. We're out of applications right now. There's no way that anyone else wants to join that creepy building. Oh god, he's getting pissed off with me now. I'm sorry, you'll just have to come back in a month, same as anyone else. Alright, fair enough, okay. I'll see you next month, everyone. We'll just... <laughs> You know what, maybe there's another way. For example, she's holding a bit of paper. A blind woman is trying to read her mail, oh no. Oh god, I'm gonna go to hell for this, but could, could I steal her mail? Like, would she notice, or? Yeah, I'm going to hell. I belong at the lodge, I should be the human sacrifice. Oh god, no, don't fucking punch the blind woman. 
All right, I'll admit it. I tried to punch the blind woman just out of sheer curiosity, but she's in the background there. I can't get to her. Hey, was the kid earlier saying he was the one having the affair? Because maybe I'll be able to use that against him. That's probably the most reasonable explanation. Where will I find that kid? The, the newspaper building? That's what he works for, right? What the shit? What is this? What's left of the newspaper building after an extreme fire? Oh, God, is that kid dead? Wait. Oh, I can dig. Examine the ashes. Buried in the ash debris, you spot a few hidden remnants. Bake. Why? What does that mean? Are you saying you were baked? Did you light up and light up the building while you were at it? Ah, harvest bake sale. That doesn't help me at all. Oh, oh, what's this? A button from a post person's outfit. Okay, I'm not sure how that helps me. I'm gonna go to the police station. They'll help me with my feckin' issue, right? Surely? Hello, Steve. Let me introduce myself. I'm Sheriff Dwayne Dwayne, and this here is Loomis pleasure, I reckon. Oh, no. I don't like the sheriff. Of course we have, but I heard about your alleged amnesia and figured I'd play along. What? Why does no one believe me? Like, I have a serious issue and they don't care. Why do you want to break your poor mama's heart with all this amnesia, buddy? <laughs> and look at his face. Oh, finally, Steve's getting angry. Well, You've always been a kid. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone's just like, yeah, you're a kidder. You know, I think I found who burnt it down because uh, this guy's definitely baked. <laughs> Look at those eyes. These are like all the screenshots I get sent when people pause my videos and I'm pulling some goofy face. Are those gunshots? Should I be scared? Can I help you, dear? I'm fuzzy on a lot of things. Shaw, you always were a kidder, Steve. There they go again with that you were a kidder. God, help me if I was having a heart attack or something. Just point to whatever you want. A girly magazine? Why, Steve? <laughs> it's all I could afford. I that sort of thing from Deputy Loomis. Deputy Loomis, okay, I'll go give it to him. Anything I can help Oh, you with. no, he's so creepy. All right, I'll give him the magazine so it'll be even creepier. A man's needs, yeah, talk about that. You sure ought to appreciate what a man's got to do sometimes in a park. Car what the? Waist high, not hold. Oh my god, this guy. He's so creepy. In a time, kiddo. Please don't call me that. All right, let me give him this magazine. Oh, bad George. Oh my god, the way he's reacting to it. This is fucking awful. I hate this. Can I have it? Yeah, sure. Oh, oh no, stop reacting like that. There he goes, walking away. Goodbye. <laughs> what a weird cutscene. It seems so unnecessary. Okay, can I steal anything now? A key. Key to the evidence room. I don't know why I'm even doing this. It's just he left the room and I can't resist. I'm a kleptomaniac. Emphasis on the maniac. Oh, sweet Jesus. Like, this is the evidence room, but I don't think this is evidence. Loomis has tainted this evidence. No! I want to get out of here. Oh, wait. Can I get um, stuff for that I need to collect here? Like, uh, do you have shoes? <laughs> I've been treating this like a shop. Examine the toast. Is that evidence? A vital clue in the mysterious jolly fat man murder spree. <laughs> just a Santa hat. All right, I'll take the camera. I'm just taking anything that it'll let me take to be honest anything where a hand symbol shows up just grab it oh sneakers okay they were very sneaky ironically enough i didn't see them there where's loomis oh no i've been caught <laughs> this little reaction no don't show us that god damn it oh you're in trouble now have you wait no 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 <laughs> wow he's treating him like a little dog Ow. no i'm trying to snipe him Dude, you're gonna kill him. Be careful. He actually sounded like a dog there at the end there, the little howl. Sorry, I'm just looking up the Harvester IMDB page because I want to see what other work this Loomis character's done. Oh my god, he played three roles in this game. Great, we'll be seeing more of him then. Unfortunately, this is his only acting role, so can't find any more of his work. Ah, the sheriff's relaxing in the diner after a long day of beating up Loomis with a newspaper. Wait, why are the sheriffs giving loads of money to Boyle, the postmaster guy? Jeez, they're giving him loads. If you think I'm going to keep... Paying this forever, you are crazy? I was looking at that handwriting, you're the one that's crazy. There are limits. Okay, I don't know what this is. All right, I'm back and I'm gonna attempt to blackmail you now. I hope this works. What does this mean? <laughs> you know what it means. Oh, the sheriff is blackmailing you. Okay, uh, well, I'm double blackmailing you. My luck's been bad ever since Dwayne found that darn gas can at the newspaper building the day after the Wait, fire. what? You burnt down the building? I pay him, not because I'm guilty, but because I don't want him slurring my good name around. Huh? Sweet. But Jesus, this is untangling. You know, he keeps that gas can in the evidence room at his office. You know what I should do after that? I should just be like, oh, postmaster, you always were such a kidder. And <laughs> just walk out. Oh, his button is missing. Well, I have that too. Okay, so can I 
help him and then I'll get my, my form? Well, lucky for me, I already looted the evidence room by accident. I didn't even know what I was doing. Use gas can on Postmaster Boyle. <laughs> yeah, sure, why not? I can't believe it. After all this time... Did you fall asleep? Here, take it. Yes, I got my application! You know, this morning as I was making my rounds... I noticed an awful lot of television aerials on the roofs. What are you even saying? You got me this can just in time. Oh my god, I just enabled an arsonist. <laughs> I just want to go join the lodge, to be honest. I want to be in a cult. <laughs> I want to feel at home. Okay, I'm going to go back to the lodge with my application now. Okay, I've got a pen. Can I can I use that on the application? Uh, there. Yay, it's done. Now, here you go, mister. You need a rest. Okay. Thank you for your next assignment. All right, I guess I'll go rest. What the hell is this? What even is this game? Like this massive lodge outside of like three bungalows. The whole town has about five residents in total. Oh, here he goes. Better get a bit of a nap. That green screening is top notch, by the way. Oh, I know he's getting shirtless. <laughs> <laughs> this game is just too much for me to handle. Dude, I'd check your windows for Loomis. I know that sounds like, you know, a chemical or a mold or something, but no, I mean the deputy guy. I just keep an eye on him, you know? Jesus Christ, what kind of nightmares does he have? All right, he's woken up. The scale is so strange when they walk around. But to be fair, the game came out like 97. It's kind of impressive. Oh my God, she's still baking the next day. <laughs> Those better be some good cookies. Oh no, not this kid again. I don't have a paper for you. Oh, I do have this sneak though. All right, he gave me the broom closet key. <laughs> what a weird trade. Maybe you'd have better luck trading with Loomis. You could have gone straight to him, given him the key for catching the two in the act, and then he would have given you the sneakers and more. Having said that, kid, I would strongly recommend you stay away from Loomis. All right, I'm gonna <laughs> check on the two lovebirds. Uh, broom closet. There we go. Okay, get the key. I hope to God there's not a cutscene for this. Oh, no, they're just standing there awkwardly. Jesus Christ. Like, this is a horror movie from their perspective. I opened the door and I'm just staring at them. <laughs> you have no proof of your allegation. Oh wait, I, I have a camera. Wait, can I open that again? Can I can I open the door? It's locked. Okay, one second. I still have the key. Have they forgotten I'm here? Yep. Yes, they have. All right, let me take a little quick picture. <laughs> <laughs> Screwing in the school broom closet? What will people think? Are you blackmailing us, you little shit? Calm down, Mr. Harold. Steven would never do that. He's a smiley- Yeah, exactly. Steven's just a little kidder. All right, they're giving me a baseball bat. I feel like I'm that guy from eBay who started with a paperclip and ended with a house. I'm just trading little things. Oh my god, I went to save the game and this is the save screen. That's terrifying. All right, let's see what the lodge guy wants me to do now. Hello, can I sacrifice a human? I, uh, volunteer Loomis. What kind of tasks? Minor pranks, really. I got a complete minor pranks to join. I should like you to put a scratch in it. A scratch. I gotta that scratch someone's car. I really thought I was gonna have to sacrifice someone or bring someone, you know, kidnap maybe. I don't know. No, I have to scratch a car. I don't know why I'm doing this. Um, right, I gotta find a Mr. John- Oh, Johnson residence. That was easy. <laughs> God, I'm good at this. But he's sitting right there, though. Can I just key the car? Use broom closet key? What the what? hell are you doing? I'm keying your car. Leave me alone. I need to join a cult. You rotten son of a- Oh, I used the screwdriver and he's getting really angry. Wait, what? What? Oh, oh, no, no, how do I, how do I fight again? Okay, I'm winning. I don't think this was worth it. I'm going for the ankle. Get him in the ankle. <laughs> it's his weak spot. His Achilles heel, if you will. Okay, no, this isn't working. Keep up with the uppercuts. I gotta warn you, I know Loomis. <laughs> how many punches can you take? I swear you've lost like 17 liters of blood. <laughs> it's just pouring out of there with every punch. Uh, I think I just feckin' died. <laughs> <laughs> the game over screen. All right, wait, load. I think I can beat him. I want to win. All right, I got my baseball bat, and now I'll scratch the car with the screwdriver. You rotten son of a bitch, bitch, bitch. I don't know if that was meant to be the voice line or he just messed up. There we go. Now we're talking. I've got extra reach. <laughs> How many hits can you take to the head with a baseball bat? In fact, while you're at it, could you hit me to the head with your tire iron? Because I have amnesia. Oh, he's dead. All right, now what? Do I just go back? <laughs> Should I hide the body or something? All right, you know what? I'll just put away the bat and I'm just gonna leave. I did what they asked me. Oh no, I'm getting arrested. What the hell? Wait, is this canon? Is this meant to happen or, or what? 
is the story? No, 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 don't take me to Loomis. Anything but this. You're under arrest for the murder of Mr. Johnson, Steve. It was self-defense. Killing a man in broad daylight while he's sitting on his porch. Yeah, exactly, but I'm a kidder, remember? Somebody help me. Wait, what the hell? I think they're putting me in an electric chair. All right for that, boy. Ain't it, Sergeant? Wait. The cult guy is here. He's not even moving his mouth. He's just thinking. Oh, Maybe he's just a bit socially awkward. Oh, wait, he gets to pull the thing? Why? <laughs> Why is he in charge of this? It's done so poorly, but I love it. Some radar machine apparently detected that I was dead. I think this is my, like, bride-to-be. Who are you? What? What are you doing in my room? Oh, you are always such a kidder, right? Wait, you, you actually don't know me. <laughs> you don't know me? I mean, I don't know anyone. Oh my I god, you are such a kidder. <laughs> what a great joke. Mom. Mom keeps telling me that women can't join. But oh, we're getting a little cutscene now. You to join. I've been trying to join the lodge, but in another reality, it ended up with me in the electric chair. Seem like a harmless bunch of masons to you? Yeah, they seem nice, actually. They don't seem like the type that would, you know, pull the lever on the electric chair on you or anything. I may as well rob their house while I'm here. You got anything good? Medicine cabinet. Oh, yeah, I need some meds. How can I actively repress this or cure my amnesia? One or the other. Uh, toothpaste? Can I have that? No. Cough medicine. Yep, I need that. I need to give that to my brother. <laughs> He's got a serious serious tobacco addiction and he doesn't sound very good. <laughs> Just kind of really taking in the scenery here and you've got a weird picture above you. The man in the house squeezing his meat. This game is awful. The manhole key is stuck in the top of this manhole cover. Oh, not to bother. I got some lube <laughs> and I didn't get it from Loomis. I got it from the medicine cabinet. Oh, really? Did it need that sound effect? Okay, I don't know why I have this. I'm just collecting random objects around the neighborhood because I got nothing else better to do. Oh, wait, nightfall. Is something going to happen? Or are you just showing me that this is what nighttime looks like? Because I'm aware it gets dark at night. No, that was it. Okay. <laughs> All right, well, maybe I can go scratch his car now. Well, not that I didn't last time. It's just I don't want to end up dead. Oh, God damn it. He's pulled his car off the street. Can I use anything to get in, in there? Maybe I can use the thing I just got. Maybe that's why it became nighttime. Uh, let's see. Well, that didn't work. No. Can I use it on the manhole cover? Am I really going into the sewers to scratch this guy's car? I am. Wait, use shovel on what? Corroded wall. Oh, yes. Okay, I was just spamming. Oh my god, this is not worth it. I don't even know what the lodge does. For all I know, they're like a bakery or something. All right, well, I made it in from the underground. I guess time to scratch his car now. Okay, he said just a small scratch. That is feckin' brutal. I don't know how you even did that with a key. I'm robbing him while I'm here as well. I hope I get, like, extra credit for this. All right, yeah, I did it, chief. You may proceed to your second task. You will steal a bolt of fabric. From the fireman. This seems very strange. Why do you need this? Oh, he gets this dramatic cutscene again. Do you do this every night? You just stare at that window <laughs> waiting and it's the next day. Look at him. He's getting impatient with me because I'm just standing around. But I think I'll end it there. Let me know if you want to see more of this game. This game is one of the weirdest games I've played on Steam. And back then it must have been even weirder, surely. Like I've seen some weird games. But thank you very much for watching. If you liked it, consider subscribing. Let me know if you want to see more as well. I appreciate all of you watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye for now.